Dear friends, we value your precious time for your convenience and good experience. There is chapters included in video timeline. Moreover, you will get direct link to each of three playlist as well as link to our official Facebook and Twitter account in description. Welcome back friends, Dutham Joy here with more of Witcher 3 next gen walkthrough in death march difficulty. Today we will do Yennefer's quest, the last wish. I hope you are familiar with the incident took place at the city Rhind where Geralt and Yennefer met for the first time. Geralt brought Dandelion to Yen as he was in severe condition because of a gene. Yes, gene. After learning this, Yen was having intention to capture that Jin as she wants to become mother and Jin is something which can do impossible tasks. Unfortunately, Yen got out of control and Geralt in a way saves her by expressing his wishes to Jin. Geralt's final wish is the actual result which brought him and Yen closer. Let's see what is going to happen in this quest. She is waiting for Geralt inside. What is going on here? Oh, Yen did something to that guy. What are you doing, Yen? Is everything all right? Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm -hmm. So it happened. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skelliger one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. Jin, alright. A Kin. Why are you interested? Why are you even interested? Jinns are dangerous sometimes and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. But you failed to do that earlier. Anyways, are you sure about this? Are you sure this mage actually had a djinn? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Alright, nowhere to look for this djinn? Nowhere to look for the mage and the djinn? The locals say they last saw Amos's ship off the coast of Hindusfjall before a once in an eon storm broke. Dad will find them then. Mage is probably fish food, and the djinn escaped. Not necessarily. But even if it is so, I'll not give up without seeing some evidence. Will you help me? I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Come on, Ian. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. Alright guys, time to do gene hunting. <laughs> I see you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. I decided to risk it. Give me a moment guys, let me read about gene from Beast Theory. The pitcher emitted a puff of glowing red smoke. The smoke pulsated, then gathered into an irregular sphere floating in front of the poet's head. The first longing, a tale fantastic in all ways. A jinn is a powerful air spirit, a condensation of the power of said element endowed with consciousness and character. The latter usually nasty. According to legend, jinns can grant even the most far-fetched wishes, though they do so begrudgingly. Unusually powerful mages can capture and tame these beings. A mage who succeeds in doing so can then draw energy from such a spirit, using it to cast spells without having to summon the power from traditional sources. Only a handful have ever managed this feat. However, for jinns, fight to avoid such a fate with stubborn determination to imprison a jinn and bend it to one's will, one must first weaken it and that is no easy task. Fighting jinns is extraordinarily difficult. They can fling off spells in an instant that the most accomplished human mages could never master with years of preparation. What's more, 
by manipulating the element of air they can summon gales powerful storms even hurricanes luckily as magic beings they are vulnerable to silver yet still will do them no harm jinns are vulnerable against dimeridium bombs and element oil Truth to that lather by the ice giant. You see the bulls this year? Fancy a foreigner, foreigner yet okay. carries himself proud. <coughs> Lead the way. Just once you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. Okay, Yen, as you say. We came here earlier during the quest of Morgvark to meet Einar about the wolf pendant, remember? Did you sever his head? Head of a giant on your mantle. Now that's a decoration. The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. <laughs> get on the boat with Yennefer. Okay. Let's go, Yen. Not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant to be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always. About you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't rightly like see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. That's nice. Asad, I cried a rithorn. Oh. Ready. Careful down there. All right. Now I need to dive deep. Let me ready my crossbow. How's your bath? Water warm enough for you? <laughs> Let me see. This spell is something, guys. We can spend underwater for a long time. How's it going? Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? I wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. All right, there's the last one. Let us search. Snapped masts, busted planks, 
and a whole swarm of drowners, probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew, then made their nest here. There's also a clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. All right, Ian. Hmm, now that's a mystery. Something's here, another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. All right, time to dive deep again. Donor was a babe in swaddling clothes when Miss Buckler landed here. All right, what else we have here? Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Haymai symbols. Donor's clan. Donor was a babe in swaddling clothes when Miss Buckler landed here. Skeleton. Somebody pinned his skull to the deck with an axe. A death worthy of a Skelliger. Clan emblem indicates a demon man, so he was from Pharaoh. Yen, doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. All right, give me a minute. Got some. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Haymine symbols. Donner was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the Golden Dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember? Chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, amazingly flowing stream. I remember. Though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Determination. Something on the bottom. Let's see what it is. Third time. I'm hoping this time we'll get some clues. Oh, that's very, very deep. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell, to see through your eyes. 
Now relax. I see Fortia Badem Ain Achter Elevate. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks and everything lying within the teleportation zone. I always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gym. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Fortia Badem Ein Achter Elevate. Broken seal? No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Finally, we got something. Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship. That's it. Let's go back to Yen. found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. <laughs> Stop whining. One, two... What about three, Yen? Three. Okay. <laughs> Said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look. We must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this jinn? But you already know. A jinn's power is priceless to a mage. <laughs> first option is very childish. That I know. But I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? What do you mean? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. Okay. So that's it. This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. But why, Yen? Why you want to do this? Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another. Or if we'll be like two strangers. Now she wants to test true love. Very bold step, Yen. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. All right. Give me a moment, guys. Let me toss Elementa oil. As jeans belong to class Elementa. This was quite the eccentric. Asking the Jinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Jinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. Alright, moment of truth. All the best to you both. We should explore the ship. Nothing here. Hmm. Nothing. 
nothing interesting here. No, you have nothing here. Let's go to the base of this ship. Interesting. Wonder what this means. Mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. Mystery of mysteries. Let's read. Among the many creatures of our world, there are but two that are able to draw and absorb the power, and these are cats and dragons. Both species instinctively sense the presence of magic intersections and often choose them as resting places, which is strange, for other animals avoid the same spots. Numerous theories attempts to explain this behavior, but none do so with thorough success. Some scholars claim dragons use the power they imbibe to fly, for as the natural philosophers have proven, no creature of their size and mass should be capable of lifting itself into the air using such meager wings. As for cats, there is a theory stating the power is behind their gift for seeing things in complete darkness. Others claim this ability is theirs by nature and they use the power of the intersections for other unknown purposes. Indeed, that all members of the Felidae genus are able to see beings from other planes, invisible persons and emanations of the power has been proven beyond any doubt on numerous occasions. Interesting. What else we have here? Elemental Empires by Jean Batista. Elemental Empires. Let's read. None of the four planes or dimensions, those of fire, water, earth and air, is accessible to mere mortals. They are inhabited, however, by creatures known as genies. There are four types, each corresponding to one of the four elements which comprise their respective essence. Each type of genie also counts its antithesis among the others. Thus the merits aligned with the element of water are opposed by the fiery ifrits. The plane of earth is inhabited by the Diao genies and the dimension of air which opposes it is home for the genie, whose name incidentally is the root of the word genie. This last term is often used by simple folk to re refer to all creatures that inhabit the elemental planes, which is an obvious blunder. Unusually powerful sorcerers can sometimes bind such beings and bend them to their will, thus acquiring tremendous might to the point of near omnipotence. For a genie, being the living personification of an element's energies is akin to an almost boundless reservoir of the power. Thus, its master can draw energy from the genie for spell casting, without the tiresome need to channel from traditional sources. However, those who are able to bind a genie are few and far between, for the strength of the inhabitants of the four planes is matched only by the cunning which they employ to avoid such a fate. Must be that mage's boots. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Mage must have slept here. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Yen, I think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. So the djinn killed him? Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. 
This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere to a mountaintop even, and the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. <laughs> if he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I have an idea. Okay, now we have both the parts. Let me adjust my bombs. Dimeridium, there it is. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame Jin, Rif Kaishta Eng Gaya, Kaishta Et Disclare, Givered Ni Castle. There we go, guys. Taking you have a plan. You must weaken him while I draw him into the sphere. Care to trade places? Yes, we did it! Oh my god, barely escaped. Got you! Your master died before uttering his last wish. I cannot capture you. We can struggle like this for eternity or I can release you. If you do one thing for me. <gasps> do you see the spell that binds us? Jin can remove another Jin's spell. Remove this one and you'll be free. It's over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit.
You feeling all right, Yen? Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a jinn, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhine suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Please don't mention Yen. Well, I never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... You'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Yes, this is the moment. Speak from your heart, Geralt. Jin might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. Oh. And I love you. What a moment. Oh, what was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. <laughs> Let's not end on a kiss? Really? Now? Well, if you guys want, so be it. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. <laughs> but I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Think the spirits of Skellige favor us. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. Yen, what happened back there? It was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. I'm going to see the Baron. Collect Uma from him, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. See you, Yen. Take care of yourself. Alright my friends, that's all from today's part. If you like our video, give like and share this video among your friends. New viewers who are liking our content, please subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to hit the notification bell as you will get notified as soon as we publish videos. See you soon in the next part. Take care.